Uh, I'm Susan Weber and I am a tattoo artist primarily. I also do murals and some other art. My name's Shelby Allison. I'm from Spokane, Washington. The last mural I did was at Zona Blanca with Shelby. The Don't Tread on Me uterus design on the side of boots. Our large one, the 160 foot one on the um, train bridge over by Berserk. I have, I, I've been doing murals for a really long time, so I started doing it, gosh, like 25 years ago. So yeah, I could go on and on, but like, sometimes I'm painting just to paint something pretty, but I, it usually has some basis of um, a struggle that I'm working through or that I'm um, doing because I, I, I feel drawn to a aspect of a problem or, or what have you. But yes, usually always in a feminist context. Activism is super important. I know Spoken Arts works a lot to kind of empower all different kinds of people and I love working there because of that. They're not just like narrowed in on anything specific. I do think Spokane's really supportive. I think it's gotten better and better and it's more progressive now than ever and um, I like what Spokane Arts is doing and I think there's a lot of opportunities for artists to get their work out. I am really happy to be part of the art community right now. There's so many people doing really amazing stuff in lots of different genres. I think in the last couple of years it's really become um, a big thing in Spokane to, to be like an active um, like activist and artist. Uh, Spokane's definitely really accepting of that in the last couple of years. I know I like Amber Hoyt's work a lot and, and she did some work with Black Lives Matter and um, I really I like her style and what she puts forth. Uh, she seems to also come from a place where she's um, She's wanting to do political work and she's wanting to um, do large works on walls and what have you. Um, yeah, that's the first that comes to mind. I love Shelby's work. Shelby has a very specific style, but she's always down to, to do things that are for a reason, you know, and we did the, the Nike mural when, um, when there was the buildings that were smashed and the, they put up plywood and then had some artists come and paint it and we did a uh, like a hands up don't shoot sort of mural. The Nike building and a couple other buildings got vandalized. We were hired by Spoken Arts before I worked there to paint the boards in front of the Nike building which was it was great like we had so much positive feedback as people were going by. There's sometimes as an artist you feel like what can I do or like what is the point is it actually going to help something but I think what can happen is people walk by it and then that starts a conversation and even if it's as small as getting that ball rolling, maybe a family is talking about what it means to their to their child and then the, there's just like a slow development that can happen. So um, we have had our murals like graffitied over with like Make America Great Again or, or that type of thing where um, that sort of thing that happens but I think it ramped up a bit because we were affiliated with type of group or whatever so then there was this like other side of it. I think part of it is that Susan and I are affiliated with Berserk that's like very anti-Trump so the people kind of flock to that like we had someone paint like a Trump 2020 tattoo on one of the ladies legs which was kind of funny and like matched well but I was just like no. <laughs> From a young age I tried to do art that um, put some feeling, you know, it's like working out your own feelings a little bit, like putting something down on, on paper with paint or whatnot. Of course, when you're little, you're just painting pictures and you're making them pretty, but there's still some thought process that's happening that you're unraveling something or working through it. Um, as I got older and started recognizing like problems in the world, then I think my painting started to to go in that direction. A lot of my work is self-reflective and a lot of it is my own struggles and then I'm painting myself into, even the ones that don't look like me, are often about some background that has to do with me. Um, as far as the activism part of it, I think that it's so important and we will leave behind uh, a trail of like, what was going on in the world, like artists really put a mark on that as a time and a place and what was happening is captured through artists in such a specific way that I think it's one of the most important things and, and people kind of are like, oh, you know, I like to paint but I don't really do a lot of it. Like, 
I think if we could put more focus on it being an important part of society, you know, it's, it's, it is in a lot of circles, but there's a lot of people who just are like, meh, whatever, and don't realize how much it encompasses everything. So yeah, my advice is always just to keep pushing and, and, and do know that it does help and do know that it does change conversations and it does make a difference. And the more people doing it, I think it invites like a, a better community to be part of when you're seeing it and you're, and you get to feel like you're part of doing something because in this world, you know, it's so crazy how lost we can feel. And at least like there's that connection you can, you can always like connect with someone through art. It's a beautiful thing. When we first spray painted out like the bodies, cause we knew that much, we knew it was going to be these women's bodies. And then there was going to be lots of Spokane landmarks and things going on. Uh, throughout the, the scene. It was raining the first day we were supposed to start, so we wandered off, uh, kind of waited around for the rain to go away. And when we came back, we only had time to make the outline of the two ladies, which people thought we were just painting two naked ladies on the side of a giant wall. And so that was in the news. Uh, we ended up going back and censoring them just to be funny. Yeah, we got a real kick out of it. We went back and um, censored our own mural and like put X's over the nipples, which there was no nipples painted on there, but then it was even like more noticeable to be like, okay, like does that look better? The whole idea of the mural is representative of Spokane and with a female focus. And if you look through it, it kind of goes from um, fall, winter, spring, summer. And, and I think that that poem is just so, or that section of her work is, is so beautiful because everything does kind of come full circle and come back around again. And so not just the seasons, but so many things in our lives. And uh, yeah, she's just such a great writer on, on nature, especially, so yeah. There is something infinitely healing in the repeated refrains of nature, the assurance that dawn comes after night and spring after winter.